Today's coverage brought to you by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Here at the TPC Scottsdale in Arizona, and Frank, when so many people tune in to watch this great event, they think immediately of the 16th hole with all of those fans jammed in. It's like Fenway Park inside the desert there, but it's much more than that little par three, isn't it? It certainly is more than that, Rich. The TPC Scottsdale is a great venue for a PGA Tour event. It's a blend of everything, birdie opportunities, holes that are fraught by water, bunkering that's being changed, all in all, it's a great atmosphere with nearly half a million people that visit this during the tournament week. Five shots off. Par 4 14th, and Frank, this hole packs a little punch, doesn't it? Yeah, the addition of just a, a little bit more yardage, plus the bunker on the left has been pushed out into the fairway. It actually makes the hole play a little bit longer than its 490 yards. Second shot is a little bit uphill. No longer is there a bunker on the right side. That side of the green is actually open. You don't really want to be trying to miss that green on the right. Should you decide to go at the flag, well, you're going to have to carry that front bunker. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Needs a pair of binoculars to see the hole. Looks like he just misread that. Out of power. Locked in on the read and the speed. And he makes it for par. All right, Frank, now the fun begins. We are teed up at the par 5 15th hole. Plenty to talk about here. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck, the raggedness of it. And that water in play, well, if you do find one on the fairway, you can sort of always wave across to the people that are walking down the 11th hole. Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island looking green there, bunker on the left, and also another bunker just short right. But a fairway missed here. Now you can rack up five, six, seven. We've seen all sorts of scores here at 15. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. It's a good kick. It's only in the first cut. Not too That's bad. not too bad. Frank, I like the way he sort of starts his swing a little bit on the outside and then drops it right on plane. Not in the fairway, but not too bad. Just in that first cut. Oh, get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Playing a par five. Frank, what happened on that third shot? Yeah, it's poor decision. But, um, well... Hopefully he can eradicate that from the, the memory banks and um, really knuckle down on this. Do not want to drop a shot or make six here. Stop. Well, that's what separates the good players from the great players. The ability to get it that close from that kind of lie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. He's 
made it. Well, partner, here we go. Players have characterized it as terrifying, chaotic, amazing. The stadium atmosphere here at this hole, the 16th of par three, is really spectacular, isn't it, Frank? It is. Because of the atmosphere, the number of people, this is the closest a golfer gets to, like, kicking a, a field goal in a Super Bowl. It's just surrounded by people. It's not really the difficulty of the hole. Just over 160 yards and modest par three. There's no water in trouble. But it's an atmosphere that golfers never normally are familiar with. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. You'll love them, the birdies, and that's another one. Frank, when you get to the 17th hole, we always recall maybe the single most bizarre shot in the history of golf. Yeah, everybody talks about maybe a hole in one at 16, but really 17. And the player was Andrew McGee. It was a good tee shot, don't get me wrong. But Rich, it needed an assist. Well, the assist came from Tom Byram, whose brother Kurt is a commentator for the Golf Channel. Tom Byram was just minding his own business, standing on the green, sort of leaning on his putter, and you know what happened. Yeah, the ball hit Tom Byron's putter and then careened into the hole. So, 17. Made famous a little bit of history with a couple of names to drag up from the past. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. For 18th and Frankie, if you are trying to win the tournament out here at TPC Scottsdale, this is all you want down the stretch. It is. There's a short bunker there, obviously, for the recreational player to respect. Three bunkers down the right side protect it, and that new bunkering um, situation down the left there to stop the attack of a Bubba Watson or a JB Holmes. Now, this tee shot is going to have to be respected, and the green, too, is anything other than flat. He just blasted that one down the fairway out there about 325 yards 115 yards rich it's a different challenge today the weather is uh, is so day to day out here and and um, when you get a breeze like this that's kicking up you really have to sort of change your uh, approach to playing these holes it looks nice out there the blue skies plenty of high sunshine but it's a challenge because those winds have really freshened up Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Made a good run at birdie. He'll have to focus now, try to walk away with the par. And he's putting for par now. Frank, how does that par help his cause? It certainly doesn't hurt it. Good third round, Frank, and a good spot heading to the final 18. Yeah, to be in the top five right now, the caliber of this field, know that uh, your game is good enough, too, and, and a legitimate chance of taking home the trophy come tomorrow night. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment right now. EA Sports is proud to present today's PGA Tour coverage. Simply put, there is nothing like it in the game of golf. It is by far the biggest spectator event in the sport. We're at TPC Scottsdale in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague Frank Navalo. 
And Frank, what can you tell us about this golf course? Well, everybody wants to know about 16, the famed par three here, surrounded by those sky boxes. Uh, once again, that'll be a topic of the day. But really, this is a regular site for the PGA Tour. So those of you that were familiar with the golf course, it's now changed. 2014, the designers Morris and Weisskopf did a massive renovation. Well over 100,000 fans yeah, every day, better than a half a million for the week. It's a giant party mixed in with a heck of a tournament. Good contact, good result. Rich, these winds haven't subsided at all today. It's certainly a tough test out there right now for these players. They get your attention, don't they, as a player? They have uh, club selection right now, vital. You put the ball back in your stance just a little bit. If you're going to hit it down. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. That one is running so hot. Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for Birdie. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. That is a solid par putt. Par 4, 14, Frank, it seems as though you'd be pretty happy with a par here. You would, uh, even though the putting surfaces here at uh, TPC Scottsdale are excellent. It's going to take two good shots to reach this 14th hole. You can get in a little bit of trouble off the tee. That bunker on the left very much in play. The rough on the right side is no snack either because the ball, more often than not, will finish well above the player's feet. And, of course, that green is very, very narrow, well protected by bunkers on the left. This one will play a little bit longer. It's up the hill to that green. This is straight at it. It's a really good line. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14. Really? This is an awkward length. Oh, no. oh. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. Just a couple of feet. Damn, little car. He's made it. Great scoring opportunity here at the par 5 15th, but Frank, I'm wondering, as a player, is your mind beginning to think about what's ahead at that par 3 16th hole? He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Headed for the bunker, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. And it makes the green in regulation. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. With that birdie, moves one shot closer to the lead. Frank, the one moment that sort of made the 16th hole what it is today would have to be Tiger's ace in 1997 here at the TPC Scottsdale when it was raining plastic cups. It was also his reaction, too, and that ushered in the, the Tiger Woods era that we became associated with, which is the fist pumping, the rorty spectators. I mean, he was one of the few players that bridged the gap between spectator and golf course. And, uh, and it still goes on till today. Oh and, and I think Rory McIlroy probably is the only other player that starts to broach that type of inside and outside atmosphere with golf. Still to this day, it's the loudest single moment that I can ever remember hearing on a golf course. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Now to the 17th. And Frank, fair to say this is one of the best short par fours in all of golf? It is. The, the drivable par four that's designed the way it's meant to be played is a winner. The ones that are just shortened to be made drivable, they don't work. This was designed, was designed to be a 17th hole, and it was designed to be drivable. You couldn't get a better place, and you couldn't get a better par four. Well, that's the best that was going to be on the fringe. Not too bad. This one, Frank. Oh, it's a good one. Safely on. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Oh, Can't wait to write those on the card. One below par. Chalk it up. It's a birdie. Rich, 18 was always considered a long finishing hole. Not for J.B. Holmes. Yeah, the water was always in play. And then the day he took it over the left side and carried everything and went on to win, that completely changed the way this golf course played ever since that day. And it resulted in some of the changes we're seeing now. Yeah, I mean, it's the new bunkering down the left side. But it also, it showed us all how much and how strong these guys are, how much they've improved over the years. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. So a tester from four feet. Nice. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, it was a great setting with great crowds. We saw plenty of very good golf. Your thoughts? I think the course really extracted some of the, the golf that we saw. It forced these players to play uh, just some great golf. And you know, it wasn't just like a you know, pitch and a putt golf course. So I, I, I think seeing the guys tested, so seeing the players tested at this level, um, it was a treat. Oh, I finished third. Nice.